a1 is 1 by 2 into 5, a2 is 1 by 5 into 8, a3 is 1 by 8 into 11, all the way till a100. And so, how do we do this? This is going to be something of this form. Finally, you have to sense this, a minus b plus b minus c plus c minus d, all the way till something. So, a bunch of terms are going to get cancelled and we're going to be left with something in the end. We're going to, the method, getting a sense of the method is very important. We're going to somehow fall back into the idea of partial fractions and so so if you can if you can sense that that is brilliant fine so first up we need to find the hundredth term this is 1 by 2 into 5 5 into 8 8 into 11 we're going plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 so a1 is 2 into 5 a2 is 5 into 8 so i'm going to define a n as 1 by n plus 1 into n plus 4 so a2 is sorry 5 into 8 this goes up in steps of 3 sorry 1 by 3n minus 1 into 3n minus 3n plus 2 this is a n first term is 1 by 2 into 1 by 5 why 3n because this goes up in steps of 3 so these are anchoring around multiples of 3 i'm going to link a1 to 2 a2 to 5, A3 to 8. What is this sequence? This is 3 minus 1, 6 minus 1, 9 minus 1. So this first term is, is 1 by 3n minus 1. Second term is this plus 3, 3n plus 2. Right? And so on. So 100th term will be 1 by 3 into 100 minus 1. 3 into 100, 300 minus 1, 299 into 302. That's the hundredth term. We're going to break this open using the idea of partial fractions. How so? Start with, I'm going to go back to this. Let's get back to pointer mode. 1 by 2 into 5. So I'm going to think about it as 1 by 2 minus 1 by 5. LCM is 2 into 5. Numerator is 5 minus 2. 3 by 2 into 5. 1 by 5 minus 1 by 8. 5 into 8. 8 minus 5. This is 3 by 5 into 8. Or imagine this like this. 1 third of this will be 1 third of this, which is 1 by 2 into 5. 1 third of this will be 1 third of this, will be 1 by 5 into 8. Or this giant expression can be written as one third whole of 1 by 2 minus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 minus 1 by 11 all the way to 1 by 299 minus 1 by 302 right just like how we had outlined a minus b plus b minus c plus c minus d plus d minus c all the way till one final term bunch of things get cancelled this will get knocked off this will get knocked off this will get knocked off everything will get knocked off till there what we are looking at 1 by 3 times 1 by 2 minus 1 by 302 302 and 2 lcm will be 302 this will be 151 so this is 1 by 3 times 151 minus 1 by 302 this is 1 by 3 times 150 by 302 this is 50 by 302 or 25 by 151 just this choice right? key thing here you're looking at partial fractions you're looking to break these into fractions such that you have a bunch of terms that get cancelled 1 by 1 into 2 is 1 by 1 into 1 by 2. 1 by 2 into 3 is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3. 1 by 3 into 4 is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4. Likewise, 1 by 2 into 5 is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 5. One third of this. The numerator becomes 3. So I'll have to knock that off. So this whole expression becomes 1 third of 1 by 2 minus 1 by 5. 1 by 5 minus 1 by 8. 1 by 8 minus 1 by 11. All of those added. So a bunch of terms will get cancelled. We'll be left with 1 third of 1 by 2 minus 1 by 302 that is what 151 by 302 minus 1 by 302 or 150 by 302 one third of that 
50 by 302 which is 25 by 151.